Right, well, we're back at AOC again, and uh, we've come an enormous distance uh, since last time, absolutely vast distance. We now have uh, um, nearly 50 people working on the program one way or another. It's going very exciting. But the crucial thing was, um, by last March, the end of last March this year, 2010, we finally got the, uh, the, the shape of the car right. It had taken three years of very hard work um, in terms of aerodynamics. We had to redesign the car ten times, but finally we actually got there, so we now got a safe car. We moved on then to the Farnborough Air Show, and uh, we brought about 169 schools and colleges to the Farnborough Air Show, so that was good. And uh, we could now start to uh, show that you know people are really interested in what we're trying to do. The number of schools involved in it now, schools and colleges, is 4,030 which there are 220 at least uh, colleges involved in the program. And it's very interesting now, the world is changing, and you can see that maybe we're having a sort of minor effect on this one way or another. And, uh, you know, the government is saying that they need 50,000 new apprentices, and, you know, the whole thing is actually beginning to change, which is really good. From our point of view now, we're into the build of the car, so we're into detailed design, and uh, we will start, um, or rather Hampson Industries will start building the back end of the car starting in January, which is really good. So we'll get the back end of the car by about April. Um, also, we're uh, starting work on the front end of the car, all the composites. Uh, that'll probably be available probably about sort of September, I would think, next year. And then we stick it all together. So we should roll out the car somewhere around about sort of uh, January, February 2012. That's the idea. Then we then do the um, uh, UK runs on a runway somewhere in UK. And then after that, we move on to South Africa. But if we um, <clears throat> rewind for a moment uh, and look at what's happening today, today in South Africa on, our, on the hot scheme pan where we're going to run, uh, there are 300 people working on the desert now. They're picking up all the stones, there's 24 million square meters of stones. Uh, they're also removing 1.6 kilometers of causeway where the road's on a causeway. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic what's actually happening. And now we're getting huge demand all over the world for the projects. So I've been in Hong Kong, I've got to go to uh, to uh, Abu Dhabi next week, I've got to go to South Africa the week after, then I'm back to the Gulf again. It's absolutely amazing what's happening. It really is happening. It's absolutely very stimulating, very, very inspiring now. And of course it's great now because the uh, we've done all the conceptual stuff, we've done all the evangelistic stuff now, we've just got to deliver. In parallel with the build of the car, the education program is moving on at a pace. And thanks to the support of Protocol National giving us input and, uh, and in into many of the FE colleges, uh, we're now doing a huge amount of work with a variety of colleges and schools across the UK. We've got over 4,000 schools and colleges now signed up to the education programme, and that means schools and colleges right from five years of age upwards. And certainly the work that we're doing with FE colleges is proving a great hit with the students, the learners, and in particular with their local supplier schools as well. Um, we've held quite a few different events uh, with colleges around the country. And it's, uh, it's great to see the look on the young people's faces when they see the show car, uh, all 13 and a half metres of it. It's jaw-dropping and we know it's the right product because as soon as they get to see it, out come their phones and they want to have their picture taken with it. So it's a very cool project. And that's what we're finding with the, the lecturers as well. They're looking for items that uh, inspire uh, the learners in the, in the classroom, and that's where Bloodhound is coming in. Not just with science, technology, engineering and maths, but right across the curriculum as well. There are opportunities also within English, uh, looking at maybe writing a press release, uh, looking as well for the uh, how we've gone to Hack Scheme Pam, why we've selected the Northern Cape of South Africa uh, as a run location, the reasons for that, and also a little bit about the history of the world land speed record as well. So it's not just focusing on STEM, but what it is definitely doing, it's putting the fizz back into learning. We're inspiring young people, and not just young people that enjoy their science and maths, but those that perhaps have not been quite sure about science and maths. It's almost learning STEM by stealth. So the thought of driving a car at 1,000 miles an hour, which a lot of young people want to do, they're really excited by the, the concept of uh, going through the measured mile in 3.6 seconds. And despite all the videos that we show them of just how fast 1,000 miles an hour is, they're still very keen to drive the car. So there's no lack of enthusiasm with, with young people.